All right, we got the first heat of the boys, four by two here. They're in the blocks. I'll try to get you some team names here. So we've got Ann Arbor Track Club, Blazers, GC Speed, Union City Track, and the Jackalopes. Four by two on a 300 track, so it makes the handoffs a little different. They're in different spots. Coming in on the first one here in a couple seconds. Looks like uh, the outside lanes are going to hand off first. The stagger hasn't been made up yet. Looks like Jackalope's out first and lane six. Lane five, sorry. Lane six is Ann Arbor. Next handoff will be over on the far side of the track. Some questionable handoffs there, but everybody made it through. Now they cut in. They've cut in already. We got Ann Arbor, we got Jackalopes. Oh, bad. Not a good handoff there for the lead team. Uh, they might have still made it in, but they didn't make it in very quickly. They might still hold on and win this heat too, assuming that one was white. Everybody's coming for him. Timo in the white on the outside. TC Speed's gonna get him and he got him. 135-ish. Check the scoreboard here. It's like they're having trouble figuring out the times or something. They're not going up on the board yet. We'll try to get them to you as soon as they pop up. All right, we got Heat 2 now. Um, we'll have six teams on the track again. We got Blazers, Eastside, Michigan, um, sorry, Michigan Mustangs, Greater Flint, and the Misfit track. So maybe just five teams out there. One, two. Yep, just five teams. All right, they're getting in the blocks, ready for heat two. We've got Misfits in lane two, Greater Flint lane three, Michigan Mustangs lane four, East Side lane five, and Blazers in lane six. They're away. Clean start. Lane five, East Side looks to uh, have made up the stagger already. Michigan Mustangs also racing out to a good start. Outside lane hands off first, but four and five of uh, 
made it up right away. They cut in here on the back stretch. Mustangs in the lead here after the second handoff. The lucky shirt team in the first now. Good handoff and they're off. A decent lead for a 200. Oh, but the orange and white guy He's passed almost everybody. See if he's got room to get one more. Run a great turn there. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh, and he just holds him off. Good race. So the Blazers get that victory, 131-9. I feel like that's not accurate because the second team wasn't two seconds behind them, but I'm sure they'll sort it out. So Heat 3 is headed on the track now. So in this heat, we have Elite Performance, Tempo, Grand Rapids, Tortoise and Hare, and Jags. Guns up, they're off, good start. Lane two is Jags, three Tortoise in the Hair, four Grand Rapids, five Elite Performance, and six Tempo. We'll see where they're at when they cut in. Tempo with a good handoff, a little better than Elite Performance. Oh, we got to pull the hamstring. Been there. Tempo's off to the lead now. Big gap. Uh, 200s are have enough time to catch up, so we'll see if the handoffs play a factor in this too. Good handoff for Tempo. They're clear out in the lead now. Tempo. Six, seven meter lead here on Jags and Tortoise and Hare. Last handoff. Tempo gets it through. Tortoise and Hare into second. Jags in third. Looks like Tempo is going to take this. We'll see what kind of time they get. See if they can. Get under 130, it looks like it's not gonna be quite under. 131 low. Jags in second, Tortoise and Hare third. Grand Rapids Fire four. 131.09 for Tempo.
pulled. All right, we've got the so-called fast heat. We've got RDF Track Club, Michigan, uh, Michigan, all Michigan, sorry, Motor City Track Club, Grand Rapids, Michigan All-Stars, and RDF. Looks like maybe two Michigan All-Stars teams. Gun is up. All right, we should see a couple sub 130s here, I'm hoping. It's a little tougher to do indoors, but this 300 track might make it a little more easier than a 200 track, a little wider turns. That's Motor City out wide, All-Stars as we move in, Grand Rapids Fire, All-Stars two and RDF inside. All clean on the handoff, just barely. At the cut-in, Motor City with a big old lead over Michigan All-Stars. Grand Rapids Fire in third, RDF fourth, and the All-Stars part two in fifth. Donnie James handing off here. Philip Stewart with the baton now. I know the All-Stars end with James Flournoy, and he's someone to watch out for, so we'll see if uh, the team in red here in second can keep it close enough for him. Motor City with a nice lead, though. We'll this might be too much to make up for. Grand Rapids Fire third, RDF fourth, All-Stars in fifth. Clean handoff for the Motor City, clean handoff for All-Stars. Everybody's through good. Flournoy's trying to close the gap. It's, it's closed, but I don't know if it's gonna get all the way shut. Oh, he's coming now. He's on the outside, he's got him in his sights. Motor City kid knows he's there. That was a race. Flournoy takes it. Wow. 128-1, that is moving. 128-1 to 128-16 to 128-3-1. So two sub, not only two sub 130s, but two sub 128s. So just to let you guys know, the indoor 4 by 2 state record is 127.7, so they were only 4 tenths off the state record. So you saw a pretty awesome performance right there. Right, and our last event of the day, I do believe, is the women's 4x8. We'll have the first two here, Mission Accelerators, Tri-Valley Elite, and Elite Performance. So we'll see who's the elite. So we have the Accelerators Lane 4, Tri-Valley Elite in 5, and Elite Performance in 6. First heat, women's 4x2. 
See if they can make, match the intensity that last one had. So we've got Elite Performance out front. Uh, Michigan Accelerators in second, Tri-Valley Elite in third. Halfway through, good handoff. Three for three on good handoffs. Accelerators with a big lead as we're closing on the last handoff. Elite, elite performance with the handoff and Tri Valley Elite. Accelerators coming down the straightaway here. They'll be well under 150, which is fast. They're going to be 146 maybe, and that'll that'll beat some teams out of the other heats. I got to imagine they might have. Switch some people around to make that one. 147 on the nose for first. Accelerators second, Tri Valley Elite in third. All right, looks like three teams in heat two. We've got 16 ways, Purple Track Club, which I believe is Ann Arbor, Pioneer, and Tortoise and Hare. Purple hands off in first. Tortoise and Hare second. 16 ways in third. Last handoff here, fairly even. Everybody within two seconds, probably. Tortoise and Hare out front. 16 ways in second, purple in third. Purple takes the victory. 
149.04. So yeah, the team out of the first heat will beat all of those ones as well. They're eyeing that scoreboard, probably all the rest of the heats. So in the next heat, we've got Dearborn Track Club, Michigan All-Stars, KJP Track Club, Blazers Track Club, and Maximum Output. So we'll have Dearborn Lane 2, Michigan All-Stars Lane 3, KJP Lane 4, Maximum Output Lane 5, and Blazers Lane 6. And they're away. Two teams way out front here. Seeing the cut in, what kind of lead they got. Max, maximum output with the lead. Blazers in second, KJP in third. Shaky hand up, but they got it through. Maximum output in the lead still. Maximum output with a nice lead. Got a battle here for third and fourth. After that handoff, maximum output still with a nice lead. And I've got Jenna Odekirk anchoring here for KJP. Oh, we got a, a rundown happening. Blazers taking the lead. Big anchor split here for her. Blazers strong, 145. That's going to take over as your uh, leader in the clubhouse. 145.75. Head to the scoreboard here and see these times. Maximum output in second looks like 147. Dearborn 148.8, KJP 148.98. So there was that battle for third and fourth. Next heat, we have Michigan All-Stars, Tortoise and Hare, Grand Rapids Track Club. All about speed and RDF. Michigan All-Stars 2, Tortoise and Hare 3. 
Grand Rapids 4, All About Speed 5, and RDF 6. And they're off, clean start. The inside lane made up the stagger. Once again, we'll have to wait till the cut in, see how the, see how it's really shaking out. You can't really tell until they get around there with the stagger. Everybody's through the first handoff. Got a clean handoff. Michigan All-Stars lane two looks to be out first. RDF maybe in second. Nah, Grand Rapids Fire in second. Tortoise and Heron four, two, three, four, real close together at this handoff. This handoff might shake things up a little. Looks like they're still two, three, four, following behind Michigan All-Stars. All-Stars trying to make this lead a little bigger. It's, uh, we got All-Stars, then RDF, then Grand Rapids Fire, then Tortoise and Hare, then All About Speed. Clean handoff for the All-Stars, but oh, RDF made up some ground. Grand Rapids Fire's right there too. This one's gonna come down to the end. RDF's anchor leg's coming. See if she plays this turn right, gets outside. We're gonna have a battle between three teams. Grand Rapids Fire going outside now. We got three wide coming down the four by two. This is what it is. Grand Rapids Fire takes it. Quinesha Young on the anchor there. We'll check the time on that one, see if it beat the last heat, but that was that was a nice four by two. 145 29, that's your new leader. Next to you, we have Six Mile, People's Choice, Track Life, Motor City, and Maximum Output. This is the fast heat. We'll see if it can match the boys' fast heat. That was a heck of a race. Even the last race, 145-2 is going to be tough to beat. They're off here in the fast heat. We've got Motor City on lane five. They'll be the team to watch. Coming in with a 139.2. As we said earlier, the fastest time so far in 145. So got to think at least one or two teams are going to blow that out of the water. First handoff looks pretty clean. We'll see where they're at on the cut in. Motor City not in first, I think that's maximum output, I believe. Motor City back in the lead now. It's Asia Lorenz and uh, she's, uh, she's definitely a speedster. Handing off to Maya Brooks. Motor City with a solid lead, but two teams right there close enough to, uh, to still be a factor. Yeah, they're through. Three, four seconds faster than the last two teams. 
think that's Maxim out putting third now. Coming in on the last handoff. Motor City's gonna hand it off to Jada Roundtree. I know she's gone like 56 flat in a quarter, so you know she's got some wheels. Roundtree coming around the last turn. Arms are flying, they're pumping. Maxim up put second. Looks like Motor City's gonna hang on and they're gonna be way under 140. 138 low maybe. One thirty-eight, one. One thirty-eight, twelve. Take into consideration all the time that you've got to set this back this time. That was on in Michigan history. So the state record is one forty point four nine, but I do believe it has to be on a two hundred track for that to officially count. But one thirty-eight, one is is obviously faster than that. So when you convert it, it might still be faster than that. That was a really fast four by two. Track Life, who was in second, was also under 140, with maximum point in third at 140.20. So that concludes the running events. Uh, we still have triple jump going if you want to head over. If you want to head over to the field event stream, you can check out the triple jump. I believe the finals will be coming up soon. Once again, we want to we want to thank the Ann Arbor Running Company, Stars Active Wear, and Mac TV Network. Um, tomorrow we'll be back with more running events, more field events. You go to freetracklive.com. You can hit up all the live streams there. MITSTrack.org has has all of the information about schedule and times and. That'll eventually have the results there too, and also live results will be at celinesports.com/slash, sorry, celinesports.org/slash results.